thanks for returning to my channel, Anthracite Horror Stories. And uh, first off, uh, pardon any hammering or nailing noises you hear. My neighbor's having a new roof placed in their house here. Um, so aside from that, just because it was such a beautiful, warm spring day finally, I figured I would do an outdoors video here for a demonstration on uh, mine rescue oxygen. Uh, systems and just jump right into it here book you can see a historical image of the Avondale colliery which was the DL and W um, railroad collar and this is the colliery that unfortunately lost 110 or 112 people I can't recall off the top of my head back in 1869 and this gentleman here is part of the mine rescue. I believe this was from, eh, I'll just read it verbatim here. The high danger in coal mining is evidenced by the presence of first aid to the injured worker, fully outfitted in a Draeger oxygen helmet designed to aid breathing in toxic environments. This photo was taken at the Avondale shaft, DLNW Colliery in Luzerne County, the site of a particularly deadly mine fire in 1869 and again you'll see why in a second I chose this image it's a Draeger a Draeger helmet this book is just give credit here historic photos of Pennsylvania uh, text and captions by Lara E. Beardsley but <clears throat> I just picked these up a few years ago. This is the same company that's still in business till day. Uh, still in business till this very day. Uh, Draeger, it's German. This is made in Deutschland, Germany. And this is gonna be a cool one. It's gonna be a cool video. Uh, this is not a mine rescue. Um, oxygen system but rather for a airline so if a plane catches fire or whatever uh, it's protective breathing equipment for um, the crew of a plane but it's still from that same company from that photo Draeger and they make mine self rescuers so when you hit black damp now this one is not Draeger, but this is an American company. This is a sealed um, CSE Corporation. It's called a closed circuit, escape only, self-contained breathing apparatus. And it gives you like an hour, hour 15 of oxygen and it uses chemicals, um, chemical reaction to get you out of a black damp environment where it has a low uh, oxygen percentage. This one's still relatively good because these are supposed to be sealed blue. Um, if you see any pink like that one, that's an issue. So two of the three, I think this would still operate. Um, let's see here. It's manufactured in February of 2007. And this, back up here, this is that CSE. I use this. I'm not going to put this back in my mouth. It's so nasty. It's set in my barn for a while. But once that canister that I just had in that prior shot um, is activated, you have like an hour, hour 15, hour 30. And you're going to put it around your neck. And you're going to stick this mouthpiece in your mouth. And you're going to put snorkel just like a scuba diver. You just stick this over your nose so you don't breathe through your nose inadvertently. You breathe in the toxins. Sorry, it's damn mosquitoes. And it, it doesn't make any noise whatsoever. And you just breathe. Chemical reaction. I don't, I don't know the physics and science behind it, but it's a really cool invention. And uh, this, again, is what coal miners have to wear 
uh, as per MSHA regulations. I, I don't know about like the smaller independent operations. I'm sure they have to wear these too. But I know in the bituminous coal mines they have to wear these. These are heavy too. It's gotta be six, seven, eight pounds. But I thought this was gonna be coal just based on that historical image being a drager. And I'll find that image one more time. The, the aircraft one is neat because it's literally going to look like a modern version of this dl and photo because it's it's got a hood. That one I just showed you does not have a hood. Look, this looks like a, a deep sea diving helmet. And just the fact that it's from Drager, I got a kick out of it. And I'm like, eh, I'll, uh, I have two of these. I had two of these. And I was going to do this video for quite some time. And the other one, it just started rotting. I don't know. I just got these on eBay about a year ago. And it's, it's like rotting. It's, it's corroding. Something happened with the oxygen chemicals or whatever. And it's, it's almost like when a, a AA battery or D battery starts to corrode in a device. It's really nasty. So this one's still sealed. Again, it's not a mine rescue. This would work in a coal mine. Um, but you can see, it's still sealed. It says Drager. The aerospace division. And here's the instructions. So I've never done this. I'm just gonna pop this. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I don't know how much oxygen uh, this lasts for how long this was manufactured in huh the european stuff is so different it really is okay it'll be returned october 2003 yeah so it's quite some time okay so i'm gonna break the seal Until this day, like I said, Drager still makes uh, mining safety gear. Those self-rescuers, those closed circuit rebreathers. Okay. Pull this. Ooh, it's a little stinky. Just hissed. And a nice tight air seal. So we'll reenact that little uh, Avondale Colliery mine rescue photo here. <clears throat> huh. Kind of creepy. Kind of looks like a uh, military mop gear for chemical, biological. Nuclear weapons. It's making a funny noise. All right, it's pretty cool. Oh boy, I'm mildly excited. Wow. Woo. Wow. This is nuts. I can't believe how well made this is, crew. Obviously, I'm not part of a aerospace crew or Luf, Lufthansa, Lufthansa, part of the Luftwaffe. Look at that thing. That's pretty cool. Here's the guts. This, again, runs on a chemical reaction. Good thing is I don't think I have to put anything in my mouth for this one. That's what she said. All right. Wow. I can't believe how well made this thing is. <laughs> like, this is terrifying. I'll go in the house and I'll scare my son. Okay. 
take off my sunglasses here. Ooh, that's not for the claustrophobic. Wow. I think I have to pull that to activate the oxygen. Let me just redo this. Pardon my expert camera skills there. This reminds me of the gas chamber down in Benning. Okay, I broke the seal. Ooh. So I'm gonna let that fill up, because that's creepy. You can hear it doing its thing. Some sort of reaction. Man, tastes a little funny. So it appears to still all be sealed. And it has a hose going up. And then it's got this mask, like a fighter jet mask out of Top Gun. I'm going to don that. Oh yeah. Yep. The smell has dissipated. I can now breathe. That's really nice. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. That's giving off a really, really good um, quality of oxygen. Now there's like an air bladder here. If I push it, I can feel that that pushed more air into the uh, breathing chamber here. You can hear that seal. Wow. That is so satisfying. <laughs> so I'm just gonna look over this because I'm not gonna lie, when I put this first on my face before I popped that tab, I, I felt like I was gonna suffocate. I knew I wasn't gonna suffocate, but it did not feel good. This case is in really good condition. Oh, that's good. Readjust his snorkel a tad. Oh, that is such a good quality of air. I wonder what the percentage of air is. Again. Drager. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna put this back in uh, my collection. I mean, that was set to expire back in October of 2003. I was still in high school. So this is the one I was going to keep sealed 
in my collection. And unfortunately, I'll go get the other one real quick. Some sort of corrosion occurred. And this was fine just a few weeks ago. So something with the chemical, this is still sealed. I think that might actually still work because the actual oxygen mask is sealed. I was gonna toss that, but I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll go get the case real quick to show you how bad the corrosion was. eat through the plastic. You can see the solidified particulates. Um, don't really want that on my skin. But I must say this is mildly nerdy but cool. We find that image. So there it is. Same company. Undoubtedly, this even has the thing in the, the, the chest, just like me. This obviously came about from that 1911 uh, photo. So he would have went down into the mines for part of a mine rescue team. And he would have had a oxygen tank on his back that did not use a chemical. Um, that did not use a chemical reaction like the modern ones, but he had physical oxygen on his back. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool being able to somewhat reenact that photo. And I didn't even think of that until it dawned on me. So I think of the photo, he was like off to the side. Drager, they make some pretty good stuff here. Um, being expired for 19 years, expired, it works just fine. But uh, you can definitely feel on your chest here a slight heat. And just like these, these get hot due to the chemical reaction. But other than that, I mean, it's not even a bad heat. It kind of feels good on your chest. I, oh, this is totally filled with oxygen, this bladder. Then again, it's a closed circuit, meaning it's sealed. You don't have any outside air contamination getting in. Closed circuit meaning, obviously, it's on a loop. But uh, I don't know what modern mine rescue would use oxygen takes um, with a mask set up similar to this. But your field of view is pretty good. Uh, just a neat, neat video and a, a cool opportunity to use a German company um, that even in the Northern Anthracite field pre-World War I had uh, um, its, its business dealings here, here in the northern anthracite field. And uh, 110 plus years later, here I am, 
wearing the same company's mask. And uh, it's clearly, clearly a uh, descendant of their mining division. If you like videos like this, please be sure to subscribe. Please hit the like button and look back here for future content. Thanks again. And Drager, if you're watching this, they have a YouTube. I'll link them in the description. Good job. 19 years later, and I have a pretty good, pretty good uh, amount of oxygen coming through. Very nice. Very nice. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Good job, Drager. Thank you for helping out past miners here in America.